Mike, can you hear it okay? Well, I don't have any announcements, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Or not answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of, it's only his first bullpen session, what did you think of what you saw from Dice Kevin? It was good to get him out on the mound mm -hmm. and um, just see him begin to get into the routine of spring training. But I would be cautious of making any evaluations right. right. What do you hope to see from him, Chris? What? I think most importantly, uh, healthy. You know, that uh, he's able to go through spring training in a normal progression and then uh, you know, demonstrate the stuff that we, we've seen in the past. Because he obviously has a very long and distinguished track record of success when he's been healthy. Unfortunately, over the last few years, he just, you know, he's had a number of injuries. But when he's been healthy, he's usually been a, a good pitcher, whether it's from here in the States or in Japan. Because are you someone that believes that he struggled last year, mm -hmm. but maybe the second year after Tommy John's surgery, sometimes guys happen to maybe get a little bit better and get more comfortable? We found that the, a year further removed, that guys do uh, tend to perform a little bit better, specifically with their command, that they're better able to locate their pitches, uh, limit walks, and execute their pitches a little bit better. So, yes. You find him and Scott Kazmir as two of the more intriguing players in camp to spin. Kind of just see what they have. I think we have, have a number of intriguing guys in camp, but Dice K and, and Scott both are guys that have been very successful major league starting pitchers that um, that that haven't had the success or health that they may have hoped over the last couple of years, but seem to be in a good place now and um, you know we're excited to see pitch. Is you expect Casper to be totally healthy now? He is right now, so we have no reason to think otherwise. Is, is your uh, his, some of his problems last three years? Do you attribute those mostly to injuries or other things? A combination of things. I think uh, initially there were some injuries that he was working through, and I think those injuries caused him to alter his mechanics some. And Scott has put in a lot of time and effort to try to get back to uh, the mechanics that made him successful. Uh, Frank Cohen has talked about you building pitching depth, especially in the rotation. Did, when you started this, the winter, did you? Is that a specific goal that you had in mind? Building depth yeah. is, is always a goal for us, not only in the rotation but uh, among the position players and, and in the bullpen. Because as much as we'd like things don't usually go according to plan, you always have to adjust and have options. And the better quality your options are, the the more likely your team's able to withstand injuries or lack of performance. So um, we've spent a good deal of time this winter not only on um, players we expect to be you know, regulars or starting pitchers, but guys that could be depth for the, at those spots for us. Uh, 